Hallo und herzlich willkommen auf dem Sniper S YouTube Kanal. Mein Name ist Dennis, ihr kennt mich bereits und damit begrüße ich euch zum Tag 1 unseres IWA Besuches 2016 in Nürnberg. Wir haben noch etwas Fahrt vor uns, weshalb ich jetzt mal für euch alles ein bisschen beschleunige und wir sehen uns gleich wieder. Wir sind jetzt endlich nach langer Fahrt auf der IWA 2016 angekommen und werden jetzt schauen, was es alles Neues gibt. Los geht's! Hi, this is Thomas from AHD. We're here at IWA 2016. Looking forward to a great show and everyone just go nuts! Behind me you see the Scorpion Evo, the HPA version. Uh, this is going to be hitting the market in a couple of months. The HPA version was made in cooperation with Wolverine. Now some things I can talk about is we're going to be releasing it where it still supports uh, safe, single, burst and full auto just like the AG. It's still going to have an empty mag uh, detection which means when you're out of BBs you put in a new mag and you hit the bolt release to, keep, uh, to engage your targets again. It's going to come with our new stock. We uh, have um, upgraded a little bit. Uh, these are actually made in Denmark now. Before they were made in cooperation with CC, but we've taken over the production ourselves. We are also going to release, not with HPA, but as a separate, um, separate accessory, we're going to be releasing a high cap magazine, uh, which is going to hold 375 rounds. The cool thing about this magazine is when you want wound it one time or you know all the way you can shoot about 90 percent of the whole magazine after that you just need to rewind it a little bit more and you can keep going so that's pretty impressive uh, it's going to be programmable the ecu uh, unit inside you can control the rate of fire the burst amount and the dwell time and fire mode stuff like that so it's really gonna you can uh, you know customize it after your needs um, again full package uh, as a hpa system it's not going to come with the hose or the tank but as you see right here, so definitely keep, out, uh, keep an eye out for this piece. It's gonna be, here, again, hitting the market in a couple of months. Hi, I'm Chris from Classic Army, and this is our new latest product called Scarab. For Scarab, internal is just as good as our other Pro Line product, but the most special point is it's installed the FET unit on the trigger set unit. Uh, now, for the, uh, our FET unit, we have two main functions. Uh, firstly, it could uh, protect your trigger set unit. So, if you are semi auto lover, then you're gonna love it. And uh, the other main uh, function about the FET unit is uh, it makes sure your gear set will run a whole cycle uh, for every single shot when you pull the trigger. So uh, there's two main functions about the fit unit and uh, for the outfit it is the full CNC uh, full metal body. So it is a brand new design and you cannot find anyone like this uh, on the market. This is Charlie with GNG Armament. and I'm here at EWA 2016 with Sniper Airsoft Supply and we're going to be checking out our new products for this year. We're going to be taking a look at our new RK74 series for this year. Uh, as you can tell, we have the RK74 CQB, the E and the T. We'll be talking about the T version, uh, which you see right in front of me. This is going to be a full analyzed hard metal CNC machines uh, key mod rail system. It's going to feature our new uh, Ifrit Mortar 25k RPM motor. Also internally, it's going to have a pre-installed MOSFET, electronic trigger unit, which is programmable for a three-round burst. And it's going to have a lot of cool features with our magazines, which has a function of the 3090 magazines. We'll take a look a little bit later on to remove the butt plate, and you'll be able to access the 30 or 90 magazine with the flip of a switch. So uh, these are going to be available in about a month or two, and you can check them out more on Sniper Airsoft Supply for more information and pricing.
Ich befinde mich jetzt am Umarek-Stand. Die haben eine Besonderheit für uns, und zwar das G28. Letztes Jahr wurde uns das G28 als SAEG als Neuigkeit vorgestellt. Dieses Jahr haben wir das G28 als GBB. Basierend auf dem HK417 von VFC. Plus einige Neuerungen. Das Hop-Up kann zum Beispiel von außen eingestellt werden. Das Nozzle wurde hier überarbeitet. Das G28 wird in den folgenden Monaten auf den Markt kommen und wir freuen uns natürlich darauf. Hi, I'm Gavin here from Viper Tactical. Uh, I'm just here with Sniper Airsoft and I'm wishing you a very good IWA Show 2016. All right, thanks everyone for to, uh, you know, stopping by IWA and checking out what we got. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Sniper YouTube channel. Definitely check them out. Hit the like and subscribe button downstairs and you know, keep on rocking. Das war ein erster langer und anstrengender Tag auf der IWA 2016 in Nürnberg. Wir werden uns morgen noch mehr Neuigkeiten anschauen, aber jetzt geht's erstmal ins Hotel zum Abendessen. Ich werde noch Videos schneiden und danach nach Nürnberg in die City. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß mit dem Video vom ersten Tag der IWA. Das Video von Tag 2 kommt dann auch bald. Bis dahin, tschüss und auf Wiedersehen. So, Feierabend.